What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard Insta of the Seas. I am Sky. And I'm Gav, and we're cousins. Today, we're going to talk about some of the new things on Royal Caribbean's newly announced Utopia of the Seas. Gav, are you excited for this thing? I am super excited. Can it just be tomorrow? I, I want to go on it now. <laughs> I know, right? Me too. Utopia of the Seas is going to set sail from Port Canaveral, Florida in July 2024. That brings us uh, about 13 months, 12 months away from liftoff. Start with this new infinity pool on the pool deck. Isn't this beautiful? They got a lime and a coconut right here. Uh, really, a ton of chairs there in the water. Going to be a, a great atmosphere. Uh, very much like the wonder of the, the seas, just a little bit different as far as the lime and the coconut goes. What do you think of this, Gav? Yeah, no, I, I love the Caribbean style. Like, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, and I love how the lime and the coconut spans two floors it's going to be on this side over here to the left and over here to the right really going to be great not too far from it in fact if you go behind where that image was just looking you will see the you'll see the poolside food truck which i am most excited about the poolside side food truck is going to be called pool bites as of now and it's going to have quick snack food and handheld favorites Really, Royal Caribbean has been missing out on this. Carnival's on top of their game when it comes to poolside bites. But uh, it looks like Royal Caribbean's finally catching up. Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to this. I love your, you know, little quick bite just uh, between lunch and dinner, sitting out on the pool deck. It's going to be awesome. What kind of foods do you think they'll have? You know, I'm hoping for like some pretzel bites or, uh, yeah, you know, maybe a little bit of mac and cheese or something, a corn dog. I don't know. What do you think? My first thought was pretzel bites. My second thought was uh, um, fried cheese. What are those things called? Cheese sticks? Yes, my second thought was mozzarella sticks. Yes. <laughs> I think mozzarella sticks at the pool would be incredible. Uh, I'm excited. Maybe a chicken sandwich or two. I think that'd be great. Another really cool addition that I'm seeing is uh, going to be in Central Park. Uh, they are adding a Zoomie in the park. So perfect timing. They're going to have that with uh, on this ship as well as on Icon. So um, I know Azumi's food is awesome and delicious. It's going to be great to be able just to get a sushi bite when really whenever you want. So looking forward to that one. What about you, Sky? I'm really stoked about Azumi in the park and really just Azumi on deck eight in, in Central Park. One of the things that has been super awkward for me and my family who's gone on cruises is walking around. Um, basically, as you walk through Central Park, heading to the forward of the ship if you head on the right side you kind of end up walking right through the giovanni's or the uh, the italian restaurant and it's just very kind of awkward right here it looks like this is going to lead you right to azumi at the park where you can pick up your sushi roll or or whatever it is that you want to grab quickly so i'm excited for that what's what's interesting is this is not going to completely eliminate an italian restaurant actually giovanni's italian is moving to where wonderland used to be no wonderland on utopia of the seas this is going to span two decks overlooking the boardwalk as you see right here it's going to be a, a really pretty experience it's a bigger space and um, we'll be able to host more, pe more people and it feels just a little more elegant than than in central park so i'm I'm really excited for this and I'm, i want to try it out yeah the pasta there is amazing so i'm looking forward to that extra cool view nice delicious italian food Sounds sounds amazing. Also on Utopia of the Seas, there's going to be a new bar called the Pesky Parrot, replacing the Bionic Bar. It's a bar that's going to have fruity cocktails with rum and gin and tequila, along with frozen drinks and other items. I'm excited to try the Pesky Parrot. It looks kind of like the Bamboo Room on some of other some other Royal Caribbean's revamped ships, but it seems like it has a, a fun vibe there, don't you think? Yeah, I, I think it's going to be a fun vibe. At, at first, I wasn't super thrilled that they're replacing the Bionic Bar, to be honest. But, like, looking at the pictures they provided us with and just knowing Royal, like, it's going to be an awesome bar. They they wouldn't replace it unless it was better. So, looking forward to that Caribbean style and good vibes. Another cool location on Utopia is going to be a revamped Sprinkles. Um, You know, I love going here, getting some ice cream. It's uh, actually going to be where you can get six different flavors, mix and match them. And uh, in fact, they'll have a designated area where you can add sprinkles, little cherry on top. 
just to satisfy that ice cream craving. So I'm I'm really looking forward to this. I am too. I hope they have chocolate chips that I can put on my soft serve. Real Caribbean has a brand new immersive dining experience coming along. This is a uh, an experience that's replacing where a Zoomy used to uh, be. And essentially what you're going to do is you're going to walk in, you're going to act, it's going to be as if you are boarding a train. You're going to be walking into a rail car. The windows are going to be like you're taken back in time or on a railroad in the middle of Europe. And it's going to be, and you're basically just going to be sitting there eating as if you're on a rail car. It's not, there's not a ton of info. There isn't a ton of info out about it quite yet, but I'm excited to see what this will bring to us. Yeah, I'm super stoked about that. Add technology into, you know, make it another experience. So that that seems super fun. Absolutely. And that will be extra. Next, we have the ultimate abyss. Now, you may say this is on other Oasis class ships. And it is up until today, the longest dry slide at sea was on the MSC World Europa, uh, this Viper slide right here. However, that slide doesn't hold that title any longer the ultimate abyss on Royal Caribbean's on Royal Caribbean's utopia of the seas will be longer and also will be a little bit different than than other ultimate abysses a it's going to have a clear area right here if you see uh, you're going to be able to look out for a split second and see below or see your companion who you're racing against b sometimes I've ridden Ultimate Abyss and I've been like, oh man, I'm going so slow. I thought I was going to go fast. Well, you're going to be on a new roller here. It's called a Zoom Booster Roller. It's going to speed you up and you're not going to feel like you're uh, going to get stuck, which is always a good thing. No, it looks awesome. Like, way to go, Royal. That's sweet. Um, It's cool. You know, it's going to be lit. LED lights. Um, <laughs> lit. It's <laughs> Right? <laughs> uh it's going to be, you know, the longest dry slide at sea. Um, and that's, I think, 260 feet, 259 to be exact. So uh, going to be a lot of fun. And then I just love how I I believe they've started at higher. So, and yeah, you're going to go a lot longer. So 19 seconds start to finish. It's going to be going to be awesome. One of the last things that we know of as of right this second is brand new Solarium Suites. These suites are going to be suites that sit directly on top of the bridge. So there's going to be two of these suites. Yeah, these these things look awesome. That's it's another step up. Um just to be able to look out to the ocean, just have such a beautiful view and uh they de- they're definitely stepping up the game with luxury here. So, super excited about that. Yeah, I'm sure those will be be a pretty penny. But uh so there you have it. Some of the newest things on Utopia of the Seas. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below which one you're most excited for. I like I said earlier, the one I'm most excited for is the poolside food truck. I've said before that Royal is really lacking when it comes to pool bites, so I'm I'm excited they finally adopted this concept. Do you have a favorite thing that's new or in a new location, Gab? You know, I think I like all of it. That, it's hard to say that there's kind of a favorite thing. Um, I don't know. I like the thrill, so I'm gonna go with the abyss. I I like that they've upgraded that. That's gonna be a lot of fun. So. I- I love it. I'm I'm excited. We'll have to hop on one of the first aliens and race down. <laughs> You're on. <laughs> Deal. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let us know which what the and let us know what you're most excited for. Yeah. Take care, everybody. See you next time.